Okay, well, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Randall Baxter. I'm the president of Asset Positioning Services. Uh, we have a class today based on uh, some business issues that some people are having. And, and uh, uh, some of you who are new, uh, this might be a new uh, a new uh, topic for you. But, uh, uh, and Susan, I can see that you're new here. And, and uh, I just want to encourage you to, uh, if, there, if something you have questions and something that's not covered today, go to randallbaxter.com, uh, FTAP training, and then the password for the FTAP training is capital FTAP, no space, courses, C O U R S E S, all in small, small letters. Uh, but anyway, I hope everybody's doing okay today. Um, the topic today is workshop the mission and financing and record keeping for profits. I think it's going to be a pretty important uh, for those of you who, who are, are in need of people who have not done business with you in the past. Now, some of you are very experienced and you've got people you've done business with in the past. Uh, if, 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 you, if you're looking for people you have not done business with in the past, this is going to be a better class for you. Uh, but at the same time, uh, those who need help, uh, funding their workshops this is going to be an excellent class for you so so uh it's kind of a crossbreed of topics um so anyway what we're going to be covering today it's important to understand the workshop process and we talked about workshops before but it's such a big topic right now we need to break it down a little bit more the workshop it's not a seminar get that straight it's not a seminar it's an opportunity for your guests to obtain information to move forward on the topic of choice. Now, you know, and we, we talked about it this morning uh, in our, our staff meetings. Um, there's a reason people go to workshops. You know, they don't just get up and say, I'm going to go to a workshop. There's something on their mind that they have, because of the topic, they have chosen to go to the workshop. So keep keep that. Keep that top of mind for you right now. Uh, our family at State Docs model is a do-it-yourself license for the client to establish their own estate plan. You have to focus on that. You don't 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 say you don't have to say you're an estate planner. Say that 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 you facilitate do-it-yourself licenses uh, for the client and that you'll help them if they want help. You work as a facilitator to apply help where the client needs it. And this is similar to becoming their secretary or their assistant. So, so as a fa family state docs licensee, the, the goal is to lead and coach the end user through the decision process. It ends in the decision to implement an estate plan. That's what I call the front end sale. And all my teaching in the sales presentation, the family, the family tree asset positioning sales presentation is set up to achieve or acquire the front end sale. But you know what? That sets the stage for the funding process, which I call the back end sale. You know, those things are are connected like a, a train, the 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 engine and the caboose. So, but a lot of people are having issues uh, getting enough people to see. So, so that's why we do a workshop. And my workshops, I'm going to be honest with you, my workshops are successful. And if you do it the way I show you how to do it, your workshops will be successful. But the workshops we use in our marketing introduce you not done business with you in the past. This satisfies the suspect requirement. When we talk about the cycle of success, and you have to go suspect, prospect, client, advocate. And, and when they advocate, they give you new names and you put them back into the suspect list. That's the cycle of success. Those who are using it are prospering. Those who are not using it are not prospering in, in, this, in this marketing world in, for estate planning. So, so if you do a workshop, you eliminate the suspect step. So you have to decide what's it worth to, to not have to acquire or, or develop a suspect list. Now, it, when I talk to you about the cycle of success, there's zero marketing costs. If you want to eliminate the suspect requirement, you have marketing costs. So, so if you do a workshop, 
like I said, we use it in our marketing uh, to introduce you to people who have not done business with you in the past. And I should have underlined not there. Uh, that, that, that satisfies the suspect requirement in, in advance, promoting each attendee to the prospect level. And I'll be honest with you, if I wanted 125 new prospects next week and I had to, I could write a check for $3,500 and I would have 100 new prospects who were willing to talk to me on a favorable basis in a workshop format and that I could turn about four or five of those into clients this week and maybe four or five more next week. Uh, I might sell eight trusts and, and make $1,200. I'd make about $10,000, not counting the back end sale. It's just a thought. But anyway, uh, each attendee in your workshop, if you get the right invitation, that's why I say use will awareness. Each attendee has agreed to have a discussion on a one-to-many level. Now, that's not one-to-one -one yet. It's one-to-many on a favorable basis. That's the definition of a prospect. The, the suspect is somebody you think would benefit from a conversation with you. And a prospect is somebody who has agreed to have a conversation with you on a favorable basis. They have done that when they agree to attend the workshop. That's a big step, people. And if you have 100 people at $3,500, divide the 100 into to 3500 and you get a, a, a prospect cost of $35. That's cheap. But it's not going to be cheap for long. There's a problem going on I need to talk to you about. But anyway, it's all about the message. And it's your messaging that sets up a process that are that, that's interconnected and interdependent with other functions of your business aimed at achieving customer interest and satisfaction. Boy, that's a heavy thought. But, you know, if you are aware of what your messaging does, and you send out the invitations for will awareness and those people show up, then you need to be really, really good at the messaging. And I give you the script. I'm really good at it. You got to use my script. But anyway, so a successful marketing campaign, a uh, uh, mar successful marketing program will communicate on all levels of the relationship building process enabling the client to make the best decision at each stage in which they are in. So, you know, I have people come to my workshops that have just lost a spouse. I have people that come to my workshops that have been, uh, had a, uh, a negative health uh, report. I have people that come, come to my workshops because they've just inherited money. I have people that come to my, uh, workshops because they just had a relationship change. You know, the, they, they don't come to the workshop for entertainment. They come to the workshop to gather information about a problem they already have. And, and when they show up, they don't tell you what the problem is. You got to get it out of them, but they're there because they have a problem. So, so there's a marked difference between workshop marketing and salesmanship. Uh, the salesmanship comes in later after I've talked to you about the pyramid. But, you know, there is a marked difference between workshop marketing and salesmanship. The workshop marketing is you're, you're taking people from, from uh, unaware to aware and, and, and information gathering and stuff like that. You, the, you, you insert the salesman later on. So, so if I have 25 people that show up on my, in my workshops, I have to ask myself the question, is everyone on the same level of thought? No. Each attends for their own personal reasons. When they get that Facebook ad and they decide to go to the library and, and listen to somebody, they're there for their own personal reasons. That's why my workshops are so profitable. I know that they're there for a reason. I don't know what the reason is but I'm going to touch on it through my presentation and they're going to go, wow, he's talking to me. And it's usually due to a relationship change or an asset change or a health change. I, I hope that makes sense. You know, the, that it's so much easier to talk to uh, one to many on a group level uh, to, 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 to pull out the people that really need your services as soon as possible. 
So, and we, uh, we've talked in separate webinars. Uh, there are five levels of messaging. I'm not going to go over them all right now, but the, there are five levels of messaging in the estate planning decision process because there are five levels of awareness. And, and we've talked about that, but that's not the topic today. If, if you're engaged in the marketing process, you are either marketing a specific product or a specific process. I mean, I'm here to tell you, uh, I've got a secret to tell you. There's a $659,000 application sitting on my desk that came from one of these workshops. So, so, as you learned in the pyramid of the buying process in a recent discussion, the, the, ten, the attendees who come to your workshop, they are no longer unaware. They became aware before they ever saw your ad. They just have not gotten around to it. They haven't done anything yet. So, so there's somewhere in between stage two, which is aware, and somewhere at stage three, which is gathering information. You know, you need to know where they are. It's like catching a fish. If you want to catch a fish, you need to know where they are. I'd say deer hunt. Some people don't like you to shoot a deer, but if you need to hunt a deer, you better go where the deer are. You better understand how they think and why they're rubbing their antlers on the tree. So, so you know, Everyone who comes to your workshop, they're not just in La La Land. They're not, but they come in with a smile and they're saying, hey, I came to be, uh, learn about will awareness, but there is a reason they are there. Don't deny it. So, you know, in the family tree asset positioning, it's a process that leads to all products and you may have that you may have in your portfolio. I don't, I don't question what you have in your portfolio. I have, I have to make the assumption that you, you use the best products out there. And if you don't, I'll talk to you and introduce you to Mike Bemis and, and uh, help you learn the products if you want to uh, in our boot camp coming up in July up in uh, Minneapolis. If you want to go, I'm going to be teaching the products that fit best in the estate planning process on page two of the confidential. So, so anyway, the family tree asset positioning sales presentation is a process that leads to all products you may have in your portfolio and systematically offers each product at the right time in the discussion. So, so just want to talk to you, you know, if you say, hey, I, I need to talk to people I've not done business with in the past. You have to measure the value of skipping the suspect identification stage of people who have not done business with you in the past, and that is measured in dollars and time. So, so I know that if I convinced 50 of you guys to have a workshop, that means that in a way, if you're using my sales presentation and my process, that means that in a way we're talking to 5,000 people in a week. And I'll be honest with you, I know it's working because our sales are booming. We're, we're doing 15, 20, 25% increases in sales every month. And that's happened since we started doing workshops in February. I mean, it's just booming. So, so you have to measure the value of skipping the suspect identification stage of people who have not done business with you in the past, and you have to know that that's in measured in dollars and time. That way you don't have to scratch your head and decide uh, who might benefit from a conversation with you. You already know that there's going to be 100 people coming for workshops that, that are going to benefit from that conversation with you. That's what makes them prospects and not suspects. So, so as a marketer, not a salesperson, and, and remember, I have to teach you all to be marketers first. As a marketer, you need to understand the decision process. Each avatar, remember the word avatar? That's the ideal, per, that's the ideal person that's going to buy trust from you. Uh, uh, it, it's actually an image in, in the sky. But the decision process each avatar would go through in order to want to be your client 
and your advocate. You have to be good at that. I'm good at it. I'm trying to show you how to do it. So, so I've offered you a workshop marketing plan that satisfies this issue. And listen, I don't sell it. This is not money for me. But the, so, so I have offered you a workshop marketing plan, a plan that satisfies this issue that we're talking about. It allows you to skip the suspect process. And that's where so many of you struggle. But effective July 1, the cost increases to $4,500. I'm not increasing that cost, but the market, it, because so many people um, are starting to market estate plans, they go into Facebook and they're pushing up the price to generate 100 suspects or prospects. So it's a market force you need to understand in order to make decisions. And I'm going to talk to you about that decision here in a minute. So, so other marketing firms have noticed the trend in estate planning as a tool for financial professionals. Well, I told you that a year ago. I told you that six months ago. Mm -hmm. One of these companies charges $300 per attendee. So if you get 100 attendees, they're going to send you a bill for $30,000. If you do it the way I'm teaching you how to do it, you can get 100 attendees for $3,500. And they're the same quality people. But some people have more money than cents. And that's okay. That's not my problem. The uh, Our marketing program has a fixed cost. And when I say our, it's the one I recommend. I don't own it. I don't have anything to do with it. I just am a good customer. Um, and I don't get an override. I don't get a back end shot. But our marketing program has a fixed cost and is generating 20 to 30 attendees in each workshop and has four or five workshop dates over a two and three day period. Competition has increased the cost of generating attendees. Um, I have uh, I have five workshops to do next week. With another licensee, I think three on Monday and two on Wednesday. And then I, um, I have four or five to do the week after that. So I'm probably going to be talking, I'm probably going to have an influence on about 200 people. It's instead of one-on-one, -on -one, it's one too many. But one too many has a cost that one-on-one -on -one doesn't have. And I've always tried to teach you how to do this without spending your money. It works better when you're doing business, when you're talking to people who have done business with you in the past. But if you're if you're approaching people who have not done business with you in the past, you may want to skip the suspect process and the suspect process and go into the the prospect awareness world immediately. And there's a charge to that. It's measured in time and money. Our, our marketing program has a uh, uh, fixed cost generating 20, 30 attendees and has four four to five workshop days over a two or three day period. Competition has increased the cost of generating attendees. It's just a fact of life. I'm going to solve that for you in a minute. So, so we, even at the higher expense of $4,500, if you get 100 attendees, the cost is just $45 per attendee instead of $300 times 100 or $30,000. Well, that, that's, that's a no brainer. So, so, it's very clear that the law enables people to get living trust and other legal documents without going through law firms. That is a proven fact. And it's because of the digital age. But if you went out without the digital age and, and told people you're going to help them set up a, a trust, uh, you'd probably be breaking the law because you'd have to recreate the document. You don't have to create the document anymore. That's what makes this such a good venue. So before the age of technology and the internet, there was essentially only one way to get these documents, and that was through an attorney. And right now, the attorneys look at the want, that want to intimidate you, and I've, I've had to deal with it all week. Uh, I'm not afraid of any attorney if they want to accuse us of practicing law, because I know we're not, and here's why. Our documents and sales process have been vetted by some of the top broker dealers and insurance companies in the country. That's good enough for me if a billion-dollar corporation wants to risk what's going on. You know, we have zero issues with these compliance folks. 
Just recently, we had the vice president of one of the top insurance companies in the country tell the attendees that their attorneys had reviewed everything we have and found it to be 100% compliant with their rules. <coughs> That's almost all of it, isn't it? So in our marketing platform for workshops, the public is solicited to learn more about estate planning. We're teaching. We're not creating the documents. We're teaching them. And we're taking them from unaware to aware, from aware to information gathering, from information gathering to product awareness. We insert a salesman right there, from product awareness to product selection. If you don't go through that process, you, you probably don't have as high an income as you could have if you wanted it. So, so we're simply educating the public about what it means to your family when you have a plan versus what happens when they're not in a state plan. That's all you're doing. So we even have a, an, a doc in the back office of your website and you're here because you're a licensee. We have a document in the back office under forms that the client can acknowledge the fact that the licensee is serving in a secretarial role by inputting their information for them. You're not creating a document. This is done every day, including in law firms, where assistants in the firm sit with clients to enter their information into the law firm's estate planning software. There's no difference. So, so you should get this signed so you have a record if you get challenged. I, I carry them in my notebook. I keep a couple of them in the back pages of my uh, yellow uh, blue line notepad notebook. You probably should too. You know, but implementing this process and using the family tree asset positioning go-to first interview allows you to be in control of both implementation and momentum at the same time. Boy, that's that's a heavy thought. Control of both implementation and momentum. That's nothing to do with your sales skills. That's all marketing. That's that's messaging. That's the difference between uh, having money left over at the end of the month and not having money left over at the end of the month. You know, so so allow me to unlock the mystery of avoiding the price increase that we're going to be talking about. I, I, uh, if you pay for the workshop in June, you can have the workshop after July 1 for $3,500. So you might need to act now. Uh, and some of you might say, well, I don't have $3,500. So, you know, the way you balance this messaging process determines your results and the volume of business you control. I got a secret for you. Eddie, put your ear up to your screen. <laughs> Thank you. The way you balance this messaging process determines your results and the volume of business you control. So, so, so I also understand that $4,500 or even $3,500 can be a roadblock if cash flow is an issue. You know, there's, there's been times in, in my career when cash flow was an issue. And it could be again. And if it ever gets to be a, an issue again, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the basics that I teach. Because I've always told everybody, I only teach what I know and I only teach what I do. And you folks that are changing what I know and changing what I do, I, I don't. I bet you're not making the money that you could be making. Don't change it. Emulate. Don't, don't innovate. So anyway... There's a way to lock in the $3,500 fee that, that the marketers are charging 
uh, and and uh, you, you got an email from from uh, uh, Coach Financing today. Um, went out a little sooner than I thought it would, but it sort of just punched the wrong button. So, but you've already got it, and, I, and I'll talk to you about it here in a minute. But but you know, if cost is a roadblock, let me assure you that you. If you make appointments with attendees, you will recoup the cost in three to four state plan sales. Opening the door to the back end sales we all want and we all desire to achieve. That's why I put the bulldozer in. Isn't that a cool little bulldozer? Uh, the you know you move move the issue out of the way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm not I'm not forcing you to. I'm just you know. Uh, if there's a roadblock in the way for you to the success you want, if it's if if it's uh, uh, the cost of the workshop, listen to what I'm about to show you. And and don't worry about it if you don't do it. It's OK. You know, but but as you know, the past six weeks have been very busy for me. I've been, I've traveled across the country. Um, I've been in Arizona and Nevada and California, met some wonderful people. Uh, I've been to Virginia. I've been out in Tennessee. You know, as you know, I've been busy. But at the same time, while I was traveling the country, I was also interviewing companies that can help you finance the cost of the workshop. And if you get the financing done before June 30 and pay for the workshop marketing by June 30, you can implement the workshop process for $3,500. So where are we going to get the money? Well, it's, uh, it's already in your email. It, it is now possible to finance. Uh, that, there's my first misspelled word, Greg. Uh, it is now possible to finance the workshops on a multi-year note and to pay it off. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's my second misspelled word. I, I, I guess I was getting decided, excited. It's now possible to finance the workshops on a multi-year note and to pay it off within 60 to 90 days. This works if you have confidence in your abilities. And if you can have confidence in your abilities and can see the value of having about 100 people who have not done business with you in the past to be promoted from avatar suspect to prospect. Instant promotion. No more need to approach them to get them to agree to have a conversation with you on a favorable basis. That's what a workshop does. I like it. It saves me time. My only problem is it gets in the way with me doing business with people who've done business with me in the past. So I have to slow down on, on workshops that, that introduce me to people who have not done business with me in the past because I'm so overloaded with people who have done business with me in the past because of the systems that I use. So, so the, here's how the financing process works. Depending on your credit score, several financing companies will make offers to you up to twenty or $30,000. You can borrow more than the workshop fees. Some of you need to buy yourselves a little time to make the workshop work and take some of the stress out. Because remember, you measure this in, in time and money. And, and I'm not saying you can't, don't borrow yourself out of debt. That won't work. But <laughs> you can borrow yourself into a better situation with long-term financing and pay it off in the short term by the number of units that you sell in your workshop. And remember, the front end sale is nothing compared to the back end sale. So the cost of getting yourself to the opportunity to make the back end sale is where you show the true growth. Let me tell you another secret. You ready, Eddie? There's another app on my desk for $117,000 from workshop. And there's a check for $10,000 and there's a check for $20,000. There's an application for $177,000. And those of you who, who have read my book, Approach Plan Succeed, 
there's several types of advisors who are successful and, and some advisors won't give you the time of day. They won't spend the time to teach you what to do. Matter of fact, they don't want you to learn what to do. And, and I can show you mathematically what we've done to get those applications on the table. My problem right now is I have to quit talking to people I haven't done business with in the past and finish up the paper applications. That's, that's horrible, isn't it? So, so the financing process works like this. Depending on your credit score, several financing companies will make you offers of up to $20,000. I'm not lending the money. I'm just introducing you to people that are willing to take a risk with you or on you if you think and have the confidence to make it work. So, so you can finance over several years to keep your payment low. And even $3,500 at, at, if you want to pay it off in a year, that's going to cost you about $320, $330 a month. You're only going to pay that $330 for two or three months, and then you're going to have enough front-end sales to pay that loan off and move forward You can because there's no pay, prepayment penalties. You know, I've done this several times with other licensees, and I, so I know it works. Now, does it work for all of them? No, because... Not all of them have the tenacity and, and the ambition to make it work. That's not my fault. So I've said to, to many of you many times, I only teach you what I know. I only teach what I do. So, so, so I've done the due diligence and this works. Plus, it has the potential to buy you the time to make it work if you have cash flow fears on the expense. Implementation and tenacity are required. If you don't have those two things, you're going to borrow money, get in debt, spend the money, and still owe, st still owe it. If that's who you are, don't, do, don't follow my recommendation. So, you know... This afternoon, all my licensees will receive the link to this financing offer. You've already got it. We, we just punched the wrong button. Everybody's already got it. It's in your email. I'll talk to you about it if you have questions. But what you got to do is just open it up and go in and see what, what the deal is. You know, uh, and again, I don't get any compensation for it. I don't, I don't have any business relationship with these people. I, I just tried to find a way to, to help you all launch your businesses and, and put yourselves in a better position. But only if you're going to do a long-term finance with a short-term payoff. That means you got to go out and sell something. So, so this afternoon, you as a licensee will receive the link to this financing offer. It is not required and not the only way to pay for your workshop marketing. I prefer investing cash. We do not all have that ability so I found a solution for those of you who are held back by funding. And I have no problem if you don't like it or don't, don't agree to it. It's okay. I, I'm just trying to help those that, that understand what, uh, what the opportunity is if, if they need that type of opportunity. So, so many licensees are still on the launching pad after 60 days with no sales. If, if you go 60 days without a sale at this, uh, I, I don't know what to say. You know, uh, the sales out there are so lucrative that other major marketing companies are diving in and running the cost up to $300 a lead. And I'm showing you how to get it for $35. And I'm showing you what to say and what to do. Uh, I don't know what else I can do. That Usually they're, they're, they're convinced that, you know, people who haven't had a, a sale in 60 days are usually convinced that they don't have any suspects. Or they have not entered the cycle of success that I teach so often and I have so many videos on with any vigor. So others are searching for a way to break out of, a, of the situation they're in. Looking for an opportunity to grow and become profitable. This is the how major corporations have financed their growth in their companies for eons. They borrow on a long-term note. And they pay it off on a short-term project. <clears throat> I already had the PowerPoint slides for your workshop. You're welcome to them. You can go in and modify them in any way as long as you follow the script. The work is done. 
but it'll need modification for you specifically. And, and, you know, you can do that. Uh, I thought PowerPoints were hard a couple of years ago or even a year ago. I, what I found out is they're not as hard as I thought they were, but you know, the real question is, and let this soak in, please. I mean, it's important. The question is, will a workshop solve the mindset you are in? And, and, you know, it, <clears throat> most of my mentors don't try to teach me product. Most of them try to get me to set my mindset. How's your mindset? What's holding you back? If it's just funding, folks, take a $3,500 to $5,000 risk in yourself and, and and trust yourself to handle it right and do what I'm showing you how to do and and have a workshop and go out there and sell three or four trusts to get your money back, pay off that loan and, and have the door open for the back-end sale. Or if you make a little money and want to extend it to six months instead of a year, keep that money and buy your second workshop and learn how to do it. You can pay off that original loan in your second workshop if you want to. It's only going to cost you a couple hundred dollars a month. And, and I'm not saying uh, take out an expensive loan and not pay it back quickly. If you if, if that's your intention, uh, that's silly. You know, so, so in this situation then, the question may well be the answer. What's he mean by that? Well, let's go back and look at the question. Will a workshop solve the mindset? The question may well be the answer. So, so, you know, so I have a question for you. Do you have the confidence to take the risk? If, if you're not moving forward because you cannot afford the workshop, is your career worth $3,500 to $5,000. Are you worth that to yourself? Are you, can you be that honest with yourself and, and can make that commitment? Do you want to save $1,000 on your first workshop? Well, the only way to do that right now is to pay for it in June because the price is going up in July. And, and you can pay for it in June and have your workshop in July and August. Workshop ought to be worth ten thousand dollars minimum. My workshops, when I do them myself with my assistants, are worth thirty to fifty thousand dollars every time. Now, if they go in and change it, and and they don't get the response, and they don't get the income on it, that's not my fault. They, independent business people can do whatever they want to. My workshops work. So, if funding is holding you back. And it's not confidence or desire holding you back. And here I am talking about mindset again. If you have a lack of confidence or desire, uh, y'all remember that picture of that dog looking at the hamburger a couple of weeks ago? It was only about 18 inches away, but that dog would just couldn't get up and eat it. And that was confidence or desire. So all I'm asking you to do is you got an, uh, a, an email from, from me uh, and, and Coach Financing today. You've already got the email in your, I wish you hadn't, but you, you got it. And, and now I'm glad you got it because you can go in and look at it here in a minute. Open the email and explore the financing offer available to you. Just look at it from, you know, you may look at that and go, oh, I don't want to do that. But remember, I'm not asking you to go long-term. I'm, as, I'm asking you to finance long-term, get the money you need, plan the workshop, make the sales, and pay that long-term loan off quickly. Or uh, use your credit card or use the money in the bank. I mean, what, whatever works. If you need to talk to people who have not done business with you in the past, do the workshop. It's not a seminar. You don't have to buy everybody dinner. The people who respond to that workshop ad have already got a problem. They already have a spouse who has died. They already have a spouse who is sick. They have already inherited some money. They already have a, a mongoloid or a crippled child. They're, they're, they, they've already gotten a diagnosis from their doctor that they don't like. That's why they come to the workshop. You've got an advantage over them. 
They don't think you know why they're there. But I know why they're there. I just don't know which category they fit in. And and that's my job as a, a marketer and a salesperson is to find the category that they fit in. They didn't come to the workshop. They don't come to the workshop for entertainment. They come to the workshop because they have a problem that they are aware of and they're seeking more information. They have skipped. They've already gone through the unaware phase. And because they've gone through the unaware phase, you can skip the suspect requirement and promote them to prospect immediately at a very low cost of time and money. If you do it right. So, see, I'm just talking about a long-term financing agreement paid off in the short term by paying for it when with estate plan sales payable. If you get this started in, in June, July, you'll have the money to pay that loan off by August 10th. Unless you're lazy, then maybe September 10th. Or or unless you can't, you're in a bad mindset and you you say you want to do things and and get it set up and then don't 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 follow it through to completion. That's that's called mindset, and it can be positive or negative. It can be weak or strong. So so that, that decision's up to you. So I, you know. I did the offer. I, I was driving through uh, Nevada from Reno down to Las Vegas and talking on the phone to this, these people. And I realized that, that uh, they, they have so many options for you that you can go in and, and, and put in the information they require and they will send you 10 or 15 different options uh, almost immediately, like in 15 or 20 minutes. And they'll approve you in three to five minutes. Unless you're not approvable, if you're not approvable, go back to go back to the suspect stage where you don't have to spend any money and identify the avatar and make the approach. Hey, I think you would benefit from a conversation with me about your current estate plan. That costs nothing except time to skip the suspect phase and go meet. Uh, straight to prospect you have to have time and money to go get to the prospect through the suspect identification process it takes just time does that make sense i hope it does i mean you know and i'm not saying either way is right or wrong i'm saying do what's best for you but if, if you've been here and you haven't made a sale in 60 days or 90 days you know, I want to ask the question, why are you here? Uh, am I that entertaining and that funny? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe you're making fun of me. I don't know. But, but you know, if you're not making a sale in, in 60 or 90 days, there's something wrong. I'll help you find it out. So, so right now, then, I just want to throw out the questions, okay? You're going to receive the offers. I am not making the offer through my company. I'm not lending you the money. I just found the people that would be interested in you if you were interested in them. It's not required. I, I don't want to look at that screen yet. Let me. So, are there any questions? Or what I'm or any anything that you would like to hear about what I've been talking about? Is there anything in the chat room there, Lisa, that I need to respond to? Uh, yes, Randall, a few people have said they did not receive the email. Um, so Susan asked, what is the name of the company? So Susan, the company is Coach Financing. And then and then, uh, then there's a whole bunch of financing companies. And and uh, um, if you, Lisa, can you put your email note up there and let them email you and you get them on the list? Yes, sure. Um, so uh, if you, I'll put my email in the chat now. And if you didn't get your uh, offer, please email me and I'll make sure to resend the email offer to you. Okay, any other questions? Um, it's popping up there. Uh, it was all about uh, not getting the email so far. Okay. Um, so it's coach it, fine. Tell them to check their spam folders. Because I, I think we've got all the licensees. If we don't, we just email us and let's get them on that on our licensee list. 
but there's a real good possibility that it's a spam. If you didn't ask uh, for it, it was a mass mailing. Chris says uh, it is not in spam. Is uh, Chris, could you let us know uh, what your surname is or could you email me on that yeah. email address? Yeah, just just tell them, have them email you and and uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get. And you know what? You can if you don't just have to ask for five thousand. If you need ten thousand or twenty, they'll they'll make you an offer. And I, you know, a lot of you guys and girls uh, could be so good if you didn't have the day to day income stress on you. Take it away. Commit your life to something that's going to make you a lot of money. Buy yourself enough time. To grow and and uh ramble something may be happening with the email because i didn't get the link for today's yeah. webinar greg had to uh send one to me okay uh, lisa i'm going to let you and greg solve that okay i'll take it you don't want me to try to solve, solve that eddie we'd be up all night <laughs> but uh, I, I think uh, lisa lisa can solve it that's okay. eddie taylor uh eddie lisa. Said I'll, I'll check uh, your profile on our database and let you know Okay, thank you. Okay, but yeah, Eddie, Eddie's been with us a long time, so he should be in there. I, I think he is. Uh, or there's a reason he didn't get it, so we need to solve that. And that was the I'll, first time we'd ever used that that uh, email program for for the, that lending process. Yes. So, uh, but, but thank you for telling me that. Um, right. But but you know, if if you're really serious, send send Lisa an email, and we'll get you the individual application, the individual email instead of the group email. But, you know, um, I just wanted to ask Eddie if he got the financing email. Are you on mute, Eddie? And uh, no, I, I, I did not you get, didn't get that either. Okay. from Randy today. Okay. Did you get one from uh, Coach Financing? Now, I do not know how to check that while we are on this call now. Okay, not to worry. I'll resend it to you in case. Okay, thank you. Eddie's like Randy. Eddie's like Randy. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. All right. Any other questions? Nothing in the chat. Okay. So, so you know, this whole class today, it's it just been to to help those of you who – who have confidence in yourself and would love to do a workshop, but are afraid to take that step because of the funding process. Maybe you don't have the cash flow. I'm just trying to show you a way to do it. I don't think uh, good or bad about you if you don't do it. It's okay. I just I just wanted to spend some time showing you. But listen, I also uh, need to let you know about something. Uh, uh, those of you who are licensed with simplicity or want to get involved, uh, I'm going to do another boot camp in Minneapolis. And it will build on the boot camp from Las Vegas. Las Vegas was an introduction. The boot camp in, in Minneapolis, and we're going to do Zoom on it. Uh, it it's an all-day Zoom. Uh, I'll break it down by hour so you'll know what the topics are. But we're going to be talking about page two in the confidential. And this is not going to be about the comp page two of the confidential. It's going to be about the products that I sell from page two on the confidential. And then Mike Bemis is going to make some of the presentations. I'm going to make some of the presentations and we're going to show you which products you probably ought to be working with because we think they're the best, but you don't have to, you can use your own products and that's okay. But I want to show you what works uh, in this presentation and how you get a stack of checks and applications sitting like, like the ones that are on my desk right now. I'll be honest with you. It wears me out to process all that business. I get so tired. But it it's there because I follow my own process. I I do what I know and I do what I teach. And I'm just trying my best to, to show you all that, that that may be the way to go. So anyway, uh, next week, uh, I'm going to talk about the boot camp next week. And, and hope, hopefully you'll get, get set up uh, if you want to go. Um, and, and if you're a Simplicity agent or want to be a Simplicity agent, uh, my boot camp is always uh, going to be followed by two and a half, two days 
of Simplicity Training, which is the best sales training that I ever had in my life. I'll be honest with you, the folks at Simplicity changed my life. They took me from $90,000 a year to $450,000 a year. And all I had to do was, was follow their process and learn key things like tenacity and momentum and how to maintain momentum. And then they started teaching me what to say. And I, I, I've listed what they have taught me uh, in my sales presentation. I call it power phrases. And you'd be surprised how many cases I have closed because of the things they've taught me. How many cases I've closed because I said, hey, Eddie, why do you have your money in the market? You've already won the game. Why are you still playing? And usually when people nod their head like that, Eddie, they hand me a, usually a million dollars or more because their wives shake their heads yes too. Why are you still playing? Leave enough money in there if you're playing. Leave enough money in there to entertain yourself. But why risk your future? The world's a crazy place. Why don't we guarantee your principal? Why don't we guarantee your income? And only use the money, the minimum amount of money to do that. And then you can leave the rest of it in your mar in the market. Folks, make a lot of sales if you do that. Make a lot of sales if you learn from the folks at Simplicity in Minneapolis. They are wonderful, smart men and women who will teach you wonderful things. And they won't teach you product. And they'll teach you processes. They'll teach you uh, systems. They'll teach you everything you need to know. You, they'll leave it up to you to learn the product. But then they give you people to teach you the products like Mike Bemis. He taught me the products, whippersnapper. But anyway, so that's all I got to say today. I just want to thank you for attending. I will answer any more questions that 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 you, you might have. Uh, I'm Randall Baxter. I'm the president of Asset Positioning Services. And look here, Greg, I only had two misspelled words to, in my, pro, in my uh, presentation today. You're getting um, better. I am, uh, I misspelled the, uh, uh, just put the TH, but, uh, you're in East Tennessee, the, they understood it. <laughs> but, so there's any more questions you can catch me now. Yes. There's a question, Randall, in the chat, Susan asked, where is the enrollment form to set up the workshop, get the script and the process? Greg, can you answer that? Run that by one more time. I think she's asking, uh, Susan, are you working about, the, are you talking about the script? I think it's chapter 21, 22, 23, and 24, which is the agenda yeah. uh, that we learned from Mike Stranka. Uh, the confidential that you get from me, uh, the sales presentation uh, in, in complete form, family tree asset positioning, and the power phrases. So uh, 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 Lisa, send Susan the uh, fast track training. Okay, I will do. And and Susan, you need to go to chapter 21, 22, 23, and 24. And that will answer your questions, I hope. And and you can also go to randallbaxter.com and you can pull up, uh, just by looking at the chapter titles, you can pull up the uh, copy of the, present, the, the actual sales presentation. You can pull up a... a copy of Mike Bemis performing the income gaps and cliffs. You can pull up a, a many, many versions of me dinner, uh, generating, I'm sorry, demonstrating yeah. uh, the power phrases. And randallbaxter.com, you want to look at number five. You want to look at number 13 and uh, about up um, 16. Okay. 513. Susan, did that answer your question? She said, thank you very much. Okay. Um, and, and Susan, I know you're an experienced uh, uh, agent with Simplicity. And, and uh, uh, the only thing that I can offer you that's, that, that is good is that everything that I teach works in conjunction with what we learn in Simplicity. And, and one of the problems that I've always been aware of is, is these, these, I hope they're not listening, but these freaks of nature that are so good at sales at, at Minneapolis, uh, Simplicity of Minneapolis, uh, when they talk about the income sale, the only thing I did when I wrote this sales presentation is I show the, the average licensee or the average agent how to get in position to make the income presentation, which I call the back-end sale. <laughs> so, so just know that 
that if you ever have a six hundred fifty-eight thousand uh, dollar application, and Mike Stranker would laugh at me and say, "Well, they ain't got no money." Okay, but some people six hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars is a lot of money, and a six percent commission on sixty-eight or six hundred fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money. That's almost a whole month's pay. For some people, it's a year's pay. One case. How do you find them? First, you identify a suspect. Then you convert that suspect to someone who would talk to you on a favorable basis. And that makes, makes them a prospect. And then you do the go-to first interview, the family tree asset positioning, go-to first interview. You follow it word for word. You insert the power phrases at the appropriate time. You follow the process. You depend on the pillow talk. You get them to do the estate plan. And... You do that over and over and over by building momentum and give it a little time and you'll start writing those nice cases. If you want to. You don't have to. Just if you want to. Anything else? Any more questions? Uh, Mike made a comment. I agree about simplicity first income advisors. Well, good, Mike. Uh, 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 which Mike is that? Is that Mike Adams or, or is that Mike Bemis? <laughs> It's Mike Adams. Okay. Mike. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I, I understand you've gotten a couple of sales from your uh, workshop. Yes, we did. And uh, enrolled two last week and uh, setting appointments again this week. Congratulations. And I appreciate you. Hey, me appreciate you. So, Absolutely. Uh, the workshops work. And, and, and Mike, you need to, uh, once you get those things delivered, we need to go into the back-end sale process. And if you need help, let me know. But you know, you can always call Mike Bemis and he'll help you with the products. Who else has got a question out there? Nothing more in the chat. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I have to go in there and sit at my desk and do paperwork. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a money day. It's a money day. Today was a money day. I love money days. I had a money day, uh, day, day before yesterday. No, no money day Friday. Yep. Okay. Um, Two or three money days a month, that's all you need. If, you, if you're not having two or three money days, maybe it's because you're not talking to people who have not done business with you in the past. Or maybe it's because you have not approached people who have done business with you in the past. And maybe it's because you haven't said the right thing at the right time. That's what we do. We teach you those things. And, and uh, we'll help all we can. Uh, other than that, I'm going to stop. I've been going pretty hard today, right, Greg? <laughs> Yep, you have been. It's time for me to eat an apple and drink some water and go home. Uh, but anyway, unless you have any other questions, I'm going to sign off here. I'm waiting. I'm going to count to 10. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, Randall, what? Just to say that the email, I'll send an email out to the licensees to give them a heads up about the funding email, and then I'll regenerate the funding email to the people that didn't get it. Okay, that'd be great. Good, thank you. good idea. Good idea. So anyway, you folks, uh, thanks for listening to me. Uh, somewhere along the way, I think somebody listening today is going to, light bulb's going to light up and they're going to go find them a $658,000 sale somewhere. Go do it. It's out there. They're waiting on you. They need you. And uh, I need to go because I'm tired. See you later.